Hello and welcome. I have an interesting expression here. A plus B multiplied by A squared minus AB plus B squared. Let's multiply this out to see what we get. So A times A will give A times A squared will give me A cubed. A times negative AB will give me minus A squared B and A times AB squared will give me sorry A times B squared will give me positive AB squared B times A squared will give me positive A squared B I like to keep the uh, coefficients in I like to keep the variables in alphabetical order. B times negative AB will give me negative AB squared. And B times B squared is going to give me B cubed. So let's simplify. Um, the, our A squared B, our negative a squared b will cancel out with our positive a squared b and our positive a b squared will cancel out with our negative a b squared and what we're left with is a cubed plus b cubed so this expansion or identity is what we know as the sum of cubes so a plus b the binomial times by a squared minus a b plus b squared the trinomial or polynomial will equal out to be a cubed plus b cubed alright let me split this up a little bit now what if we were to expand a minus B into A squared plus AB plus B squared. Again, A times A squared is A cubed. A times AB will give us A squared B and A times B squared will give us A B squared minus B A squared will give us minus A squared B and again I like to keep my variables in alphabetical order which is why I put the A in front of the B B into AB will give us, sorry, minus AB squared and minus B uh, times B squared will give us minus B squared. Okay, so again, uh, positive A squared B and negative A squared B cancel out positive AB squared and negative AB squared cancel out and uh, sorry this should be a cube not a squared and we're left with A cubed minus B cubed so we have another important algebraic identity and uh, this is A minus B multiplied by A squared plus AB plus b squared is equal to a cubed minus b cubed and this is known as the difference of two cubes so we have the sum of two cubes on the left as an important algebraic identity and we have the difference of two cubes on the right as another important algebraic identity Okay, so knowing the factorization of the sum of two cubes and the 
difference of two cubes, let's do an example. Let's factorize x cubed minus 27. Now the number 27 is actually a cubic power of 3, so we can rewrite this expression as x cubed minus 3 cubed. So now we have the difference of two cubes, where our a term is x cubed, so we have a cubed, and our b term is 3 cubed. So we just plug it into our formula, so we should get x minus 3 times x squared plus x multiplied by 3 plus 3 squared. And to write that better we will get x minus 3 multiplied by x squared plus 3x plus 9. Alright, so why don't we expand this out to see if we get back to where we started. So x minus 3 multiplied by x squared plus 3x plus 9. So x times x is x cubed x times 3x will give us 3x squared x times 9 will give us positive 9x minus 3 times x squared will give us minus 3x squared negative 3 times 3x will give us negative 9x and 3 times 9 will give us, sorry, minus 3 times 9 will give us negative 27. So as you can see, these terms will cancel each other out, and we're left with x cubed minus 27. So back to where we started. So that is the difference of two cubes at work. Please give me a thumbs up if you have found this video helpful. If you are a math student, please feel free to subscribe for future videos that may help you on assignments or exams. If you have any question that you would like me to do a video on, please feel free to comment on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.